Hi everybody, it's Bernadette again, Simply Be Art, Cape Town. Thank you for joining me and for being here once again. I'm working on a big canvas today. It's a 40 by 60 centimeter. And I'm going to be doing a split color double dutch. I'm going to be doing dutch at the top and a dutch pour at the bottom. You're going to blow them out, but my center is going to be navy blue. This is a mixed in my dutch pour ratio. It's a Dala craft paint in the navy blue color. And I'm going to be splitting, oops, I'm going to be splitting that with the Dala white craft paint. That will be my base color. That is that one, the white craft paint. So thank you for being here. Thank you for joining me. Let me layer my canvas and then I'll tell you a little bit more about the colors. So I'm first going to layer the center because that is going to be my darkest color. And I've mixed my, I mix my uh, colors in my regular Dutch pour mix. I've used 40 grams of these paints and I've mixed it with 80 grams. I've doubled up the pouring medium and I use glue and water as a pouring medium. And I've added 30 grams of water for consistency. And I mix all my Dala paints um, with that consistency. But the Dala tube paints, it's a heavier paint. I would also mix up 40 grams, double up the pouring medium, but I'll add 35 grams of water. I'd go a little bit more water because I need all my paints to be the same consistency and so that extra five grams brings the tube paint to the consistency of all my other colors if I'm using a craft paint because the craft paint or the tub those paints that you get in the little tubs they are a thinner consistency it's the softer body paint So that's my center. I think I want to go for a little bit broader center. So I'm going to add the rest of my blue. I don't usually use up all my color because if I need to touch up, then I would have some extra color. You can't go back and mix colors because it just won't be the same. So I always keep a little bit more in my cup for touch-ups right there we go just spreading that out a little bit more i want the broader center that looks good Now I'm going to layer my white, white on either side, top and bottom. And it's okay if they blend where they meet because that's where you're going to be blowing out the paint in any event. So it doesn't matter if they blend. Once again, I'm keeping a little paint in my container for touch-ups. Okay, let's torch this. There's lots and lots of air bubbles here. Okay. 
So I'm participating in another paint pouring challenge from one of the Facebook groups that I belong to. And um, it's an all blue challenge. So I've decided to do a double Dutch pour on a split color base. And my colors will be phthalo blue, pearl blue. I'm using chiffon. I'm using ultramarine blue. And I'm also going to be using summer. These are all Dala paints. And I'm also going to be using a Dala uh, copper metallic just for some, a little bit of contrast and interest. So, let me lay down the colors. I'm going to start with the phthalo blue. The pearl blue is next. In the chiffon, the next color is the copper. Then the ultramarine blue, and last the summer blue. All right, let's give the colors a torch and then we're going to blow it out. Just getting my paints out of the way and organizing the table a little bit more and then we can get the the blow dryer so i always use my blow dryer on a cool setting on below speed All right, it's a double touch. <laughs> oh goodness, I love the lacing, isn't it beautiful? Those cells, look at them, beautiful. But they, this painting's very busy in the in the middle, and I'm not sure whether I like it or not. Let's play with it. I think that's all that 
I love this. Okay, I think I'm happy with it. I'm happy with it now. Let me torch it once again and then I'll bring it down for a closer look. 